All right, so let's start unboxing this new Joe Satriani 240 OPS. This is a $1,700 uh, model, and it also has a Sustainiac pickup in there. So let's get to it. The downsides with the Joe Satriani uh, 240 OPS is that it does only come with a soft case, but I believe they did this just for um, pricing wise. Because uh, cases can add, probably add anywhere from an extra $500 to $200. So you did do a, a case, a soft case. Um, I would have liked uh, the case just to be a little bit more uh, uh, tighter and um, something that's not just a generic Ibanez case. But, you know, I didn't buy the guitar for the case, I bought it for the guitar. So most likely it's just more for the price. All right, so I took it out of the box. Um, this is actually my first unboxing video and actually a actual review of any type of music here. So I'm sorry if I screw anything up I and mean, hopefully uh, I can convey what's needed if you're looking to purchase this guitar. All right, so this is the JS240 OPS. It is a much more consumer friendly guitar model. Um, I was looking into buying his muscle car purple Joe Satriani guitar. He also has it in orange as well. But uh, the price was a little too high because I also got a Steve IPA guitar, which is like top of the line there. So I ended up going with this model for that reason and also because of the Sustainiac pickup. So first thing I noticed right off the bat, everything feels great. It's the first time I'm holding a any kind of Joe Satriani guitar. I was a little worried about the neck because uh, Joe Satriani has very, very long fingers. Um, I remember one time I was in uh, the, the Guitar Center out in California and everyone has their hand placements in, their, in the ground. And um, I remember putting my hand, when I was like 18 years old at the time, into the, the concrete in, in the uh, Guitar Center. And um, his fingers were just like, just seemed like almost an inch or two longer than mine. It was crazy. So, um, but it uh, doesn't really stop you from being a good guitar player though, because right next to his handprints, I think was Eddie Van Halen's, God rest his soul, uh, but his hands were about the same size as mine. And um, so equally a wonderful guitar player. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the neck. Here we have a three piece maple with purple heart stripe. So I think it got purple heart, you know, it's got a slight purple look to it. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the fretboard, which is something that worried me because I've seen some reviews that they didn't like how the, the fretboard were, was. And uh, so one thing with shopping with Sweetwater is that you can go ahead and look at all the, the, the fit, the pictures of the guitar you're about to buy. So one thing I looked up real closely was the neck. You can see some of them are very porous. So this is made out of Binga Binga, and um, which I think is, um, it's, it's close to rosewood, um, but it's not as like dense. So it can get dehydrated really easily. So you want to make sure um, if you have a bing a bing a neck and it's not sealed at all, it, um, you want to make sure you keep it hydrated with some kind of uh, lemon oil or something you can find at, at a guitar shop or anything and it just helps hydrate, hydrate the neck. So let's say you look at that real quick. So. I'll, I'll probably put in some extra pictures as I'm going through this just to kind of, um, you know, show you the one I got. And I tried finding one that didn't have too crazy of a marbleization. And that, you know, I went with something that was, look, seemed very dense because um, I believe uh, you will have problems in the future with, uh, with hydration and trying to keep the neck uh, in uh, great shape. So, okay, let's talk about the tremolo bridge. So this is the edge tremolo bridge. Um, I don't know too much about these. Uh, I've always had just like a regular standard um, tremolo and I've never really had much of a floating one. So, uh, but I'm sure I could do some pretty crazy stuff with this just because it's Joe Satriani and I've seen him live and do a lot of crazy stuff. So hopefully it, uh, it holds up to some of the stuff I'm about to put it through. So uh, just gives you a normal, uh, the metal whammy bar. Um, I do know in the, the more uh, higher priced guitars, um, they give you the composite one as well. So they do not give you the composite whammy bar with uh, this particular Joe Satriani model. Um, 
but I do have a composite one with the Pia, and um, I'm sure I could try that on this guitar and see if there's any differences there. So, okay, so let's talk about the pickups, okay? So we do have the Sustainiac here, which is a big reason why I bought this guitar. And um, we have the Damasio, Damasio uh, Selector 8 um, humbuckers, bridge pickup. And um, I believe this is in all of his guitars. Uh, so it has that in there. The only thing different is the Sustainiac. Um, I, the Sustainiac also acts as a regular pickup. You have the high pass filter, and we re engage that. And um, for what I'm told, it uh, helps when we turn the volume down, it helps clean up the muddiness because the you lose a little bit of the higher end as you're playing through chords and such, and this kind of helps clean up the sound. Okay, let's talk about the Sustainiac pickup. To engage it, you're gonna pull it up, and I believe if you use it just like a volume knob, it's gonna use the intensity of the Sustainiac, like how responsive it, it is. I only used it for a little bit, and uh, so we got a three-way switch down at the bottom here. Okay, right there. And um, so if you have it basically all the way to the left, um, it's going to produce and ring the note that you're on. Um, if you go to the middle, it'll do some other harmonics that are above it. Um, basically, it could be producing the same note, uh, just an octave higher. And then if you go to the third position, it can go even higher. Uh, from what I've seen across the internet, is that uh, they don't have the Sustainiac in all of his guitars. Uh, for the consumers, for consumers to buy, even though Joe Satriani is all of his highest models, and when he's performing live, has it in there. It's because it, I think it could be a little challenging to use. And um, the pickup, the natural pickup sound of the Sustainiac is not as uh, as good sounding as putting in a real pickup. Um, I do know uh, like people like Steve Vai are working on trying to get a better pickup sound in there so that when you're not using the Sustainiac, you're using the actual bridge pickup and getting a really nice sound out of it. Um, but uh, I do believe the Sustainiac is a little challenging to use, and it's almost like a one-trick pony kind of thing, right? It's really for doing these crazy weird sounds, which Joe Satriani loves, and Steve Vai is putting it in all of his guitars as well. But they don't sell it to the public as much because it's, um, you know, um, you're kind of not getting the full capabilities of using a great pickup just for the sound of the pickup, not the Sustainiac part. Sustainiac is really cool, and um, the reason I got it is because I have many other guitars with great pickups in there. This is the only guitar I have with a sustain, Sustainiac, and I would love to kind of just venture off and try to do some cool things. So uh, that's why, big reason why I bought this guitar was because of the Sustainiac pickup. So hopefully you guys like the, the video. Um, please give a like and subscribe. This is my first unboxing, kind of like review of uh, an instrument. And, um, you know, so hopefully I did okay and it wasn't too horrible. So uh, y'all have a good one.